So in this video, we're going to look at the equation of the normal to the curves at a given point. Now, a uh, bit of warning for this. Um, number one will require us to use the chain rule. So if you've never seen the chain rule before, uh, you need to go and look at that first. And number two, we will use the quotient rule for differentiation. So if you haven't seen that before, you'll have to look at that first before you can progress with this video. OK, so the disclaimer aside, ready to go on. OK, let's have a go. So uh, number one, uh, first of all, we want to figure out the y coordinate for each of these. So y is equal to, well, substituting in 8, we're going to get 4 over the square root of 3 lots of 8, so 24 plus 1. So what's that? 24 plus 1 is 25. Square root of 25 is 5. So we get 4 fifths. So 8, 4 fifths, they're the coordinates I'm going to use. So now I want to differentiate this. So I'm going to rewrite it as 4 lots of 3x plus 1 to the minus a half. I'm going to do that bit first. So then I want to differentiate that. So dy by dx, the minus a half will come down to the front, multiply with the 4, that will give me minus 2. The derivative of what's inside will come outside as well, so that's a 3. So I've got minus 2 times 3, so minus 6. 3x plus 1, and then take 1 off the power, so minus 3 halves. So I now want to evaluate the gradient at the point x equals 8. So dy by dx when x is 8 is equal to, all right, so let's substitute that in. So minus 6 times by 3 lots of 8 plus 1 to the power of minus 3 halves. And that's minus 6 over 125. OK, now that is the gradient of the tangent to the curve at that point. I want the gradient of the normal, so I'm going to use the negative reciprocal of that. So we're going to have y minus y1, so y minus 4 fifths, is equal to the negative reciprocal of this, so 125 over 6, lots of x minus 8. OK, so now I'm going to multiply out that bracket. 125 over 6x. Uh, then I've got this minus 8 times that. So minus 8 times by 125 over 6 is minus 500 over 3. Then I want to add the 4 fifths to both sides. So I get minus 2,488 over 15. So not particularly nice numbers there, but that's the equation of the normal to that curve at x equals 8. Okay? So that's the first one. Right, let's delicately get rid of the evidence. Okay. I'll do. Right. So we go at number 2 now. So we've got this y equals x plus 2 over 2x plus 1, where x is equal to minus 2. So first of all, find the y value. So we're going to get minus 2 plus 2 in the numerator. We'll get uh, minus 2 times 2, so minus 4, minus 3 in the denominator. So we get 0 over minus 3, so just 0. OK, so minus 2, 0 are the coordinates we're going to use. Right, so now I want to differentiate this. So I'm going to use the quotient rule. So we've got the bottom times by the derivative of the top. Take away the top times by the derivative of the bottom. All over the bottom squared. OK, so I've got a 2x plus 1 take away a 2x uh, plus 4, effectively. So the 2x's are going to cancel. I've got 1 take away 4, so minus 3. So we have minus 3 over 2x plus 1 squared. 
Okay, that's what it's going to simplify to. So I want to evaluate the gradient, uh, evaluate the gradient function at x is equal to minus 2. So minus 3 over uh, 2 lots of minus 2 plus 1 squared, and we get minus a third. Okay. Right, so if that's the gradient of the tangent to the curve, I want the gradient of the normal, so that would be 3. So y minus y1 is equal to the negative reciprocal of that, so 3, lots of x plus 2. So y equals 3x plus 6. That's a nice answer. Okay, so that's the equation of the normal to that curve at x equals minus 2.